Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Play Bourbon 3.3930. Um, there was the complaint about me riding in circles. And that complaint is well given. However, um, please keep in mind that that is the only way I can find in the beginning and gain, um, well, levels fast. If I do it any other well, we'll be watching this for years and we don't intend to do that. We're not going after the, what are you, your bandits? That is no good food. Well, then on the other hand though, maybe if we get some of them together like this, if we get them close enough together, we can fight them at the same time because then they will be forcing or then they will be fighting together. And if they fight together, the loot will be better and the renown will be better. Oh, wait, I should definitely train my bone skill. And we're getting 16 um, renown for that, so that is good. So the problem is that we're in the water, well, that there is water. That means that we have a point where we're not that mobile. But we get slower and when we're slower, we get easily hit. Are these guys a threat? No. Are these guys good um, deliverers of experience? No. Um, they give us some renown. 16 renown isn't that bad. And considering the fact that they might give us some better arrows, it's absolutely okay for us to hunt those guys. I see mainly bowmen, which is strange. I would have expected to see at last at least some crossbowmen with them. But as I see it, they're only bowmen. It is good training for us. It is very good training for us because we'll train our bow skill and our bow skill is not high enough at the moment. The higher our bow skill, the better. Should we put points into horse archery? Yes and no. Yes, one single point alone will do a lot. Five points will be more than suffice. But as I mentioned, we will be running low on points soon enough. We have to increase leadership, we have to increase um, trade, we have to increase all the intelligence skills. We will run out of skill points, so we cannot afford them to put them into horse archery. So our little horse archery must do. Of course, this puts us on a disadvantage when we're hunting knights on horses or when we're hunting um, heretics, for example, or snake men, because we have to kill their horses and we have to kill their horses at full speed and that will not be possible if we don't um, have some horse archery or a lot of luck or a lot of skill because skill a little bit um, compensates for the movement of the horse. Of course we could um, speed up, load the crossbow, turn, fire at them, speed up the crossbow, turn, fire the cross, uh, fire them, but that is well well, it would work. It would actually work. But that is under the assumption that we have the faster horse, which we most likely have. Now you see why you should not fight in water, unless, for of course, you are on foot and the enemy has horses. This would be a relatively okay-ish area to fight you to, because maybe you can get them stuck in the water, and when they're stuck in the water, they're very vulnerable because they cannot do their lances attack. However, do not expect it to, to be easy targets when they're um, off their horse or when they're just using their sabers because they're excellent fighters in close combat as well. Why am I talking so much about Chitu? Well, because that is an enemy that you'll have to fight sooner or later if you want to get on in the game, especially if you want Noldor, and of course you want Noldor. And... Um, they are one of the most or the strongest enemies you will face in the game. 
They're really, really good at what they do. They can decimate armies of whatever style you want relatively easy. They can go up against knights, they can go up against infantry, they can go up against archers, hell, they can even go up against a troops comprised of um, ranged fighters with guns or siege crossbows. And you will have no... F they can go up against Noldor and how many people can say they can do that? Um, so that's the reason I talk a lot about the two because they're really, really good at what they do. This is stupid because now I have only one shield on one side. However, we're really good armored. So their their normal arrows, if they don't hit the head, should not do that much. And they should run out of ammunition any second. If you're fighting small guys like that, try to group them together so that they at least give some renown and that they at least give some decent loot. Because if you kill the 8-man troop and then the 10-man um, group, it will only cost you a lot of time and bring you nothing. Well, he's a bad, a bad aimer, isn't he? Look at that. They, they've got very big spears, by the way. Man, we really need a lot of training here. Keep in mind that we have to move. All of these guys together nearly not give us as much experience as killing one of the, um, what are they called, freebooters. I mean, these are all jerks. Could even maybe kill them in close combat. Is this guy really running or is he faking? He is faking, of course. Well, now he's no longer faking. He might not be. Oh, well, he is faking. Okay, we have to go a little bit into the middle simply because I don't want to lose any of those unpressed uh, guys. I really need more headshots. I'm not making any experience here. Well, that was close. If you have a horse that has some power, for example, um, a heavy horse that can charge people, work. Oh, come on. That is one of the slowest moving targets and I'm still missing. Good point. And we got some points here. We'll put them into... Well, we should put points into intelligence as well, but I give it... Uh, we'll need that more. Um, put it into... Trainer. Good. And put that one into pole arms. I've got an idea. Maybe that'll work. Ooh. Oh boy. Do you have any not so bad arrows? Yes, you have. Yeah, I feared as much. The relation with the, um, Bandits deteriorated. Why should we even care for that? We could do training. There is some uh, good experience in that as well. But what we need the most is... I think you are a slave trader, are you? Yes, you are. You know nothing. 
Spearmen, they look great. Christopher the Bard, you know nothing. A farmer can give us a quest, but we have very little chance to fight bandits. Actually, we have. Depends on the bandits, though. No, that's dangerous work. Let's sell the not so good arrows and keep the good ones. Oh, I forgot that these guys have no coin, damn it. Man, you're poor. Arms. You don't have enough coin. Do you have anything else that interests me? Large bag of balance? No, we're not buying anything like that. We could buy this though. Well, we're not strong enough. Horses. Keep the change. F oh, flax prizes are beautiful. Move that up. Move that up. Oh, this is beautiful. Any other goods that are worth good price at the moment? No, they're not. We could do the farmer's quest, yes. But um, at the moment, this is more important. And doing the farmer's quest alone without an army could be dangerous. Depends on the terrain and depends on the enemy. Ooh, this would be interesting as well. At the moment, we're too heavily loaded. And their loot is pretty bad. They have terrible equipment, to say the very least. But the experience is good, especially for the barbarian and the shaman. Uh, marketplace goods. Oh, yeah, baby. Flax. Do the flax thing. Um, the prices are not good for anything here. Black Iron Spear. Nothing of that is of any value to us. Let's look armor. No, look horses. Oh, we still have this. A shame, a shame. Did the horses heal? No. Melantine Hunter. We have an extremely speedy horse. Always look at the tavern. Letharian, which is a Noldor Unzen, which is an NPC and companion. You know nothing. Why did I even go for this? Um, what is it called? Bard thing. Where did they go? No idea. Crap. I was so hoping to catch these guys again. They would have been beautiful. Keep an eye open. We have a relatively, relatively good spotting and tracking skill. <gasps> 20! That's an army, sir. That's also a lot of experience, if I may say that. Okay, this could be really dangerous. The terrain is okay-ish. My horses are faster than yours, of course.
Okay, first things first, we must make sure that these guys don't hit us. So big distance. Uh, this is at least one level up here. If we can pull this off, this is one level up for us. At least, maybe even more. The only problem is that, of course, 20 of those guys will be throwing um, a lot of stuff at us. It's like fighting Imperial Guard in 40k. Oh, by the way, I'm an. I mentioned I have, might have mentioned that I'm. I'm a very, very um, happy, <laughs> I'm on, um, reasonably experienced 40k player. So if I should talk 40k tactics and armies, I'm playing Imperium, that ranges from Death Watch through Astra uh, Atmac to Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum, um, Grey Knights. Then, well, I've got some ideas. I'm playing some armies. If you want to know anything about that, please let me know. I started with gunline tactics, and now I'm more into movement tactics or movement armies. Although gunline armies are great with Imperium, I know I, I really like fast moving. Oh, oh, oh boy. Whoever you are, you are a lot better than the others. And when you think that I think that you're out of stuff, I don't buy it a second. I cannot hunt the horses as long as these guys are throwing stuff at me. Oh boy. Yeah, you're not done, I can see that. We're far from being done here. Did he just hit his... No, he hit, a ho he hit a tree. I thought for a moment that he hit a, a horse of its own, but that is not possible. You cannot hit your own people. You, hit the ho you can hit, uh, hit the horses of your own people, though. Maybe I should have come there, let them come closer and let, let them kill their own horses. That might have been fun. The problem with our friends here at the moment is that they have a hell... Of a lot of thick armor that means I cannot shoot them off their horses that easily I can kill the horses easily more easily than I can kill the rider and this guy is getting terribly close <sighs> boy they've still got some stuff I think that are the Angus freebooters that are that good at shooting are we done now? No, there's still two, one, one left with throwing stuff. Very close, sir. Not so close, sir. Not so close, sir. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, you've got horses, I can see that. By the way, if you're really talented um, and really good at, at horse archery, you can shoot their legs because they cannot protect their legs while they're riding. Oh, crap. One horse down. The trick is not to run into trees or the boundaries of the map while you're fighting those guys. Boy, this is hard. Ooh. And that was actually a freebooter, believe it or not. Oh crap, they're both freebooters, aren't they?
I wonder what their secondary weapon would be. We're running too close to the border. Just hit the horse. I lost a little bit of um, orientation here. And they're getting too close to be comfortable. As I mentioned, the faster horse makes the difference. If you've got the faster horse, you win. One more down. Oh boy, that was close. I hate that, but I had to get them close because I'm so bad at shooting. Ah, oh, come on. This is not horse archery, this is a catastrophe. Okay, one more problem solved. I could try to get a little bit better in archery. <laughs> And we're out of arrows. Great. But I think we have 80 more in our chest. I need inventory management. Our carrying capacity is too low. So we have some spare arrows. Can take the sword just in case. Although I don't think the sword will win us any fights. Hey, we actually killed someone with a bow. One damage. Yeah, we have to really aim high if we want to kill someone with a bow that is that heavily armed. With a bow that is more or less uh, not efficient. I mean, this is a bow, a short composite bow for 26 damage. That isn't that bad. There are a lot of bows that are worse than that. But we're not talking Robbie style bow or Sephir style bow or Hawkstorn bow or anything like that here. What about skills, you might ask? It says 133, uh, 37. How good is that? Well, um, a knight is about 400 in the skill that his weapon is. So that's not really good what I have. Noldors are about 500. In their skill. Always watch out for the trees, people get killed by trees. Why am I using the arrows, not the crossbow? Well, first, because we need the training, and second, because we'll need the crossbow bolts if the guys with the shields are not dropping their shields in time. Because this bow has no chance of destroying a shield unless I'm investing all the crossbow bow all the arrows I have into it. She is really heavily armored, you have to give her that. They're getting a little bit too close for my liking. Oh yeah, now oh, that is a problem though. This guy here looks really angry. Two 
200 and how many? Oh crap, one of them is running. Oh, he's not. Oh, they're trying to trick me. Crap, I really have to be careful. But this should give a good renown, by the way. Do we have enough bolts to kill each and every one of them? I think we have. Oh, that was, I would not say a guaranteed hit, but... Should have been one. Well, how many of them are left? Five. Ugh. But they will break soon. If I had um, a mace, I could have made prisoners here. Ugh. Wow, oh, he's got a metal shield. And they're good, but that is not a giant shield, so we should do considerable damage. That is a wooden shield. I think you can tell by the sound that it makes when it gets hit. This is a darker sound, and when I shoot the metal shield, well, which I cannot, well, yeah, you can hear that. That's metal on metal, and the other is metal on wood. So it tells you something about the resistance as well. By the way, night shields are not the best shields in the game, just so you know. Except you're talking, I think, about the Kraken Knights. They're different, but they're infantry knights. There are a few infantry knights. There are the um, Ebony Gauntlet, which are Siege Crossbow Knights, and there are the Kraken. I think they're called a little bit different, but they look like... like um, Game of Thrones, Iron's, Iron uh, Island Skies. Ha ha, you don't protect your leg. And that means if I kill you, the others are more likely to run. And then I can hit them with my sword while they run away. Which is a pure brilliant idea. There he goes. Beautiful. Excellent. Now all I have to do is to wound one of you. Which is a little bit hard, point taken. But your shield isn't that strong, is it? I could try an, an upper shot. Ah, he's good with that shield, is he? I can see his head, but I think his head is well protected. But if I can get one headshot through by sheer luck, um, that would mean a lot of damage. Fatal, by the way. Yeah, but it's just the upper end. Maybe I should even aim a little bit higher because of ballistics. He is good with that thing, isn't he? Amazing. <laughs> I will get your head sooner or later, my friend. Oh, blind shot. Still hit something. Wow. His shield skill is so good that he's protecting the man to his side. That is Roman style fighting come on aha you've got no shield no more that's the reason why you should not pick that kind of shields oh crap 
That's why you should not pick that kind of shield, sir. It's a bad choice. The good thing I is I no longer have a Qualis gem with me, which means that um, this guy is here. Even if I lose, will not um, give me. Um, will not can cannot take anything really worth something from me. Well, they can take the horse, but I've got spare. They can take the armor. I can get new. They can get the crossbow. I don't care. I get another one. They can get some or will get some gold. That's sad, but not really terrible. Come on, your shield will be breaking, sir. What's a metal shield, though? It will have a resistance, I think, about 12 or something. Still trying luck shots. Maybe if I ride uphill and he follows me uphill. Ah, not necessary. Shield has broken. Shield has broken. Ooh, 300 and... 16 experience. We have a level up, so let's use that. Up, up, and away. Trade goes up. Pole arms go up. Beautiful. 52 renown. Any questions? I don't think so. I think this is better than mine, is it? No, it's the same. 44, that's the same. That's even worse. Resistance 15, but also requires a very high shield skill. Oh, and we cannot take anything of the rest because we're losing a lot of loot because I don't have the carrying capacity, which is a shame. Shame on me. Marketplace goods. Oh, they have new flux. I want the flux because the flux is good. Oh, that is too much. Maybe I'll give you something less. Perfect. Horses, you have very little money left, sir. Armor, you have... <gasps> Look at that! Considering the cost to the effect... Um, polished... Plus nine... We have a selling point. Arms... Tavern. I don't think that there is anyone new here. No, there is not. Okay, I think that wasn't that bad. We're doing well. We're level 12 already. This is episode, I think, I think 7. Um, agility is good. Charisma is rising. We should do something about intelligence. I mean, we have trade 5, but every point here will give us 5% more. So we're currently... 50% lower than we could be in selling prices. Mm, that's a point, that's a point. Highwaymen and brigands could mean better bolts, so... What do we know about brigands? Reports, troop trees. They're adventurers, are they called that? Not really. Hero adventurer. Oh, they both lead to the hero adventurer. That's interesting. Well, all all nobles will lead to that. Becker's noble knight. He has a crossbow. That's interesting. But it's a light crossbow, so screw that. Um, a maiden noble or heroine adventurer. I think they have excellent. Yeah, they have ebon bows. 
500 that's what I meant with them they're really good at what they do how about mercenaries yeah guns the archivist with 100 damage which is impressive Melantine Grimbar they're good at what they do Townsmen sell sword others Fallen Revenant, look at that. Level 60, but not that high in skill, actually. Heretic Worshipper. Dune Hunter, not a very fast horse. Ornated Warhorse, look at the hit points of that thing. And at the armor, especially at the armor. Impressive. But I think they might even ride Imperial Dark Stall Stallions. Another Charger, that is a horse you cannot kill with arrows. Well, at least not with the ones I'm shooting. Um, clerics. Oh, look at that. Inquisitor. I really... Oh, there is no... There is no strength limit on that. Would you believe that? Or is it just not shown? But the armor is beautiful. And the battle hammer is beautiful. And no shield. Ooh, I like that. I really do. Okay. Um, but that's enough for today. Let's see each other next time. Bye.